I'm Malcolm Campbell from Oxnard, California, and I began shaping in 1968. We've been making monsters since 1970. Uh, the bonds are the three pin surfboard. As I said, we developed in 1970. It has a single to uh, double concave. And now, uh, since 1983, we've had a five fin design. Uh, a friend of ours, Terry Crump, is the team writer for UWL. Uh, he uh, introduced us through a mutual friend, uh, Guy Penn Warden, and things worked out very well in last year. And so we're back this year and celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Bonser here in France and on to Portugal and England. Uh, bonsers are, are, will be able to be found at Oxbow search shops and online at the Oxbow website, as well as at uh, UWL. And all the bonsers uh, produced in France are manufactured at UWL. Uh, shaping's changed a lot due to the shaping machines, and I think this is. I think mostly a good thing. It has a few downsides in my, my opinion. And as far as the future of the monster, we'll just keep refining it and trying to uh, push, push the limits further and further in performance. Uh, in California right now, um, alternative shapes are pretty much dominating. Um, a lot less uh, sort of 6-2 thrusters, you know, uh, and mostly alternative type type designs, Neo Retro and uh, other just, you know, sort of boards that provide a little bit more uh, flotation and fun for people. Uh, all, all people, some famous name uh, surfers are using them, as well as, uh, you know, mostly experienced surfers in their 30s to 50s and so, and a lot of the younger guys now in their 20s are beginning to uh, catch on to the bonzer. Uh, well, my brother, we have a close relationship. He lives in Hawaii. He's the owner of Cafe Haleiwa and does a lot of the promotion and has the bonzer front surf shop there. And uh, with Moonlight Glassing, they glass most of our, our boards and they're the top glass shop in California and we've been very fortunate to work with them over the years. It's really helped uh, to promote the Bonzer. Uh, keep surfing and enjoy it as a, as a lifestyle and be very conscious of the changes in the environment and we all need to be aware of these things these days because uh, of uh, the climate change that uh, is coming upon us.